Tonight, the battle over Charlotte's new voting districts continues. Well, in just one week, people representing the Hidden Valley neighborhood will be taking the city to court. And their argument now is about voting rights. And they're saying that their voting rights were violated when the city drew new maps. Queen City News reporter Maureen Wirtz is in the Hidden Valley neighborhood live with us tonight. Now, Maureen, where people say now the new city districts are silencing their voice and their vote, what are they telling you tonight? Alicia, that's exactly it. They're frustrated here, and people here in the neighborhood say that this new district that the city has drawn basically means that they don't have representation, especially if they stick with these new districts. Though it was an interesting street to move on 50 years ago. We were getting phone calls to say your, the value of your home is going to go down uh, because black people are moving in. Well, we were the black people who had moved in. Glenda Horton Manning wouldn't change a thing because home for her is right off of Monteith Drive in the Hidden Valley neighborhood. Love it. Love it here. And we try to take care of it, you know. Where she can see everything she loves right from her front porch. And look, I have a beautiful view here because that's our church. That's the steeple that you can see here. And while it's her church on Sundays, on election day, it's precinct number 82. Then there are quite a few people. You should see all the people to go to the precinct. But that could be changing. We will have our day in court. And that's how proud I am. That's how I feel right now. Cedric Dean says he's standing up for his neighborhood. That's why he filed a lawsuit against the city of Charlotte after city leaders moved the predominantly black Hidden Valley neighborhood into a new predominantly white district. Center City, I mean, like when you look at Center City, right? And you look at the economic, even just, just the crime over there compared to here, it's the tale of the two Charlottes. Glenda says she'd like to stay in District 4, just like she stayed on Monteith all these years. It's a feeling, a feeling of home. Because yes, this is home, but it's more than that. So I reached out to the city and they said they couldn't comment. And there has been talk about this being more of a political move. And I asked Cedric about it. He said it's not about one political candidate being upset, but it's about a whole community being upset. And he expects the community to come out next week on January 20th. Live in the Hidden Valley neighborhood, Maureen Wirtz, Queen City News.